this is an eyelet mock simple cable and we did it with uh, with straight needles but this time we're going to be making it with circular needles so on regularly you would have a multiple of four plus one but we eliminate the plus one because we do not have an edge uh, we're, we're having it in the round and so rows two and four also change now I have 160 stitches because 160 is a multiple of four and I wanted to make a, a, a small cowl this is the Sweet Delight Baby B this is Baby Yarn and these are circular short circular number seven knitting needles and I have a marker there to show where the beginning and the end of my rounds are and so let's make believe that I just cast it on my stitches and we do have a video showing on how to connect for circular knitting and we start this first row that means going around until we find this we are going to purl one and then knit three one two three and that's it that is the repeat throughout we are going to repeat this we are going to purl one and knit three and purl one and knit three. One, two, three. This is row number one and so I have a lot of stitches here and so I'll see you when I get to the end of this row. So there we go, we finished row number one and I'm going to start row number two. When you're working in the round you don't work on this side. You don't work on the wrong side at all so you need to follow the pattern on your right side and this the row number two will be the same as row number one that means purl one and knit three one two three so purl one and knit three one two three and you do that all around and I will see you when I end this row so here we are we're going to start row number three so we pass the marker and this is what we're going to be doing we're going to be we purl one and then we're going to knit these three stitches one two three and the first one that you knitted you are going to pinch and pass over the last two so there we go so we purl one we knit three one two three and the first one goes over the other two again we purl one and we knit three one two three and the first one, the first knit, goes over the other two. And we do that the whole row. So I will see you when I come back. And so I can do row four. So I finished row number three. And I am going to start row number four. I'm going to pass my marker. And I am going to pro one. And then I am going to knit and put my yarn to the front so I can do a yarn over and knit. So again, let's do this repetition. I am going to purl and I am going to put my yarn to the back so I can knit, yarn over and knit. So let's do this again. I put my yarn to the front because I need to purl. Put my yarn to the front. 
put my yarn to the back because I need to knit and I knit one put my yarn to the front to make a yarn over and knit and you do that the whole row so purl knit yarn over knit purl knit yarn over knit and I'll see you when I finish this row so here I am I finished row number four and so this is very nice it can be a cowl but on this occasion I decided I wanted a headband and this is for a, a, a normal person I'll have to make another one for me because I have a smaller head but see this goes very nicely around someone's head because it's nice and stretchy if you wanted it stretchier you would have to add like another pearl so you would have three knits and two pearls but this is nice enough and I am going to for this one see I need to make another row which means row number one because I want it to look the same as at the beginning when I end my piece right there so I am going to make row number one around and I will see you back to show you how to bind so here we are I finished row number one again so because I finished the four rows and then row number one and I will be binding on this row so now I'm going to take my marker off and I am going to start by purling one and then I knit one and then this one I pass over so I knit another one and this one I pass over knit pass over and then this is a purl so I put my yarn to the front and purl and pass that one over and then knit pass over knit pass over knit pass over and purl and pass over so I'm going to do this all around until I get to the end and I'm going to show you how to finish that nicely okay so I this is my last stitch and I am going to pass that one over and that is the last one so now I'm going to cut my yarn leave a long tail and pull that one through the last loop now we are going to pick up my yarn, put it on my needle, and I will go to that, that, that's the last stitch that I knitted, and I'm going to go and find the first one. So like that I have a very nice finish, and I want to go and pick up that first loop there. So pick it up, and then you go back. To where the yarn came from that one there so like that you see you're making an extra one that one there this is the one that we're making now we pass this to the back make sure not to tighten it too much because we want it to look the same as the others so now we're going to go to any place in the back and make a little knot there we go and now we can weave in the ends so let's weave this for a little bit there and now we can cut the yarn so now 
you can't tell where the beginning or the end is it's right there but this is a nice way to do it this is a nice finish and now let's go and do the beginning so let's cut the extra yarn there and do the same as what we did at the end now of course this is a, 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 a short cowl but you can make it as wide as you want it is just that I just wanted something to put under my jacket I didn't want anything very big I just wanted something to hold to put around my my chest so I go there and close it put it to the back and pick up a strand there in the back and pass it again and make a little knot and then you can weave it in and there you have it so now you have something that looks very nice and it's a nice cowl and this can go around your if it, this can be also a headband it's a little bit large for me I would if it if it was for me I would take off maybe 12 stitches this much but this is a very nice thing and you can make it as wide as you want it so thank you very much for watching and uh, take care of yourselves and share us with your friends and like our page and I will see you the next time.